What is SOR? SOR is short for Science of Reading. It is neurologically proven research on the five stages of English acquisition. It's currently endorsed by the governments of the US, Canada, England, and Australia. It's not linked to whether you're a native English speaker or not. But as long as you're learning English, your brain will inevitably go through these five stages. In Taiwan, the syllabus to learn English starts, unreasonably, on the second stage of English acquisition. And often parents request children to skip even further ahead and memorize vocabularies, which is actually the fourth stage of English acquisition. What's worse is how parents flock to the idea of an all-English environment at school and send their children, unprepared, directly to the fifth stage of English learning, comprehension. And when children are not learning the right way and skipping the basics, it's difficult and almost impossible to acquire English skills at all. The first stage of English acquisition is called PA, which stands for phonemic awareness. Do you know how many sounds can be found in the English language? There are 26 letters of the alphabet, so there must be 26 sounds, right? The correct answer is actually 44 sounds, which is also known as 44 phonemes. If you only know this now, it's normal. The Taiwanese English education skips this important step of English learning entirely. There are three levels to training for PA. The first level is to hear and perceive the 44 English phonemes. Our brains need to take stock of the 44 sounds that are found in English, and not just the 26 letters of the alphabet. The second level of learning PA is to sound out the 44 phonemes. It is essential to be able to pronounce all 44 phonemes accurately. And by now, our PA training is halfway there. The third level is to link up the 44 phonemes into consonant, vowel, consonant sound combinations, which is also known as CVC combinations. This will result in a total of 60,200 different sound combinations. Only when you've learned, but not memorized, and can hear and perceive and pronounce all 60,200 CVC combinations can you move on to the next stage of English acquisition, phonics. In America, children are fully immersed in an all-English environment for six years before they start school. When they start school, they start with the basics of PA even though it's their seventh year being exposed to English. As opposed to children in Taiwan, who speak Mandarin before they start school, have their first exposure to English when they start elementary school. And that's all the more reason for them to learn English, starting with PA. Phonics. This is the stage where the 26 letters of the English alphabet come in. The study of phonics establishes the correspondence between the English alphabet and the 60,200 sounds of spoken English learned during the PA stage. An example of establishing letter-to-sound correspondence is this. K, A, T, C, A, T, B, E, D, B, E, D. First graders in Taiwan start English the wrong way, and that's why learning English becomes a painful and difficult journey for them. Their teachers may only know the 26 letters of the alphabet and are unaware of the 44 phonemes, so they will most likely teach like this. B, 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 E, 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 D, 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 D. And all the while, children are also required to memorize the definition for bed. Keep in mind that vocabulary is on the fourth stage of English acquisition. By asking children with absolutely no English skills to jump to the fourth stage of English acquisition will only be a cause for pain. Fluency. Fluency means the ability to read effortlessly. At this stage, you should be able to read an English article quickly and accurately. You may not need to know the meaning or grammar of the article, but you should be able to read it. 
The reason why you don't need to know the meaning and grammar is because at this stage, the focus is solely on training fluency. Spending time learning meaning and grammar would be a distraction to practicing fluency. Have you ever tried reading an English article and notice yourself pausing, confused, and not quite sure how to read a certain word? Why is that? It's because very few Taiwanese children have the training to read English quickly and accurately. Fluency is essential for the next stage, which is vocabulary. If you don't have the basic skills for fluency, it is impossible to remember vocabulary. Once you've established the basics of PA, phonics, and fluency, congratulations! You've earned the ticket to start learning vocabulary. At this stage, you can start to learn the meaning of words and grammar. And now, you'll see how quickly you internalize your learnings. And it's because you're well trained in the first three stages of SOR. But when Taiwanese parents ask their children without the skills from the first three stages of SOR to start learning English by memorizing words, it makes learning more difficult. And this will only cause children to lose confidence and dislike English even more. When you've reached comprehension, that's when the real fun begins because comprehension includes popular culture and the classics. From English poems to lyrics, to Grammy Award winners, from Disney cartoons to the different brands of popular cereals, from a humorous joke to articles talking about environmental issues, and more. At this stage, you will find English is fun, and the possibilities are endless. By then, you'll be able to make friends using English. But before all that, the first four stages are indispensable skills that are required for you to get there. To conclude, SOR is endorsed by the governments of the US, Canada, England, and Australia, and is even proven by neuroscience to be the best way to learn English. Taiwanese children deserve to acquire English this way too. To learn more about the total solution on the five stages of SOR, please visit us here.